Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.1, number 73. And 73 is a lot like 69, just the context is different. In 69, we were mixing solutions um, with different percentages of, I think it was saline here, we're mixing bonds with different interest rates. So as we look through this problem, it says an investor has $23,000 to put into two bonds. And one's going to give you 4% interest and the other's going to pay 2% interest. And you're going to get $710 in this one year. So how much did you put into each of the two accounts? So it says how much was invested in each account. So I'm going to let X equal the amount of money or the bond paying 4% interest. So when I say bond, right, this is the amount invested at 4%. That's what I mean when I say about a bond, and then this would be the amount invested at 2%. And as a side note, you might be wondering, well, if I was going to invest money, why wouldn't I just put all of my money into the 4% um, bond? Because I'm going to get more interest. And the reason behind that is, typically with banks, if you want the higher interest rate, you have to leave your money in the bank longer, meaning that you can't touch it. So and I, now keep in mind, I'm going to make these numbers up. So maybe you had to leave your money in the bank for 10 years here, where you only had to leave it in the bank for five years here. So that's, that's the trade-off. The longer you're willing to leave your money in the bank, the more interest the bank will give you because they're making money off of that money you you keep with them. But let's say you needed to buy a car in five years, not 10 years. So maybe you'd have to go with a smaller interest rate so you could pull your money out sooner. And again, keep in mind this five and 10 is just totally made up. All right. So as I'm going through this, though, the I can tell, let me color code this. I can tell going in here, I have two variables. So I'm absolutely going to need two equations. And the first one that I run into is the amount of money that's being invested. So if I'm putting X dollars into the 4% account and Y dollars into the 2% account, that's got to total out to 23,000. And I, I have a feeling I'm going to use substitution. So that's why I'm going to solve this equation for Y. You could have solved it for X. I just prefer to solve it for Y. So that's where you're getting that first equation. And then the second equation is going to come off of this interest. It's simple interest. So if I have X dollars I'm putting in at 4%, that expression 0.4 times X is going to be the amount of interest I make in that account. If I have Y dollars being deposited or bonded at 2%, that expression 0.02 Y is going to be the interest I make from the 2% bond. And we know that those total out to $710. That's why you see my plus sign hanging out here. So that becomes my second equation. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this expression for y and substitute it in here. And you can see me starting along that algebra path. I substitute in the y, I distribute, right? I get all the x's on one side, all the constants on the other. I solve for x down here, and then I plug back in and solve for y. And I'm guessing that from here on down, we don't have a problem or a question. It's how do we get from the words to the variables. So if I just look at what's happening, if I look, both of these units are in dollars, right? So I've got some money I'm dealing with. This is talking about the total amount I invested, so X and Y, and this is talking about the interest. So again, if I look at it, it's 0.04X and 0.02Y. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.